Tonight, NBC5 investigates with the Better Government Association. Caught on tape, a police officer accused of pushing and then punching a woman. Tonight, see the tape and hear from the woman and the police. NBC5's Chris Coffey joins us with this exclusive story. Chris? Well, it's a police interview gone out of control. A Quad Cities woman is consulting with a former Cook County Commissioner's law firm to challenge what she says was an unprovoked attack by police. This surveillance video captures Brandy Riddell picking up clothes at a Von Mar department store in Davenport, Iowa, just across the Illinois-Iowa border in February. She admits she was trying to shoplift. It, it's wrong. There's no reason for it. Whatever reason I give doesn't justify it. It didn't take long for store employees to catch on. Riddell was taken to a store security office, her young daughter in the same room. Two Davenport police officers were also there. Now watch the lower right corner of the screen as Riddell talks on the phone one officer appears to push her and then apparently punch her repeatedly. Yeah, I was screaming, yelling, crying for help. It, it didn't matter. They just kept continuing. Riddell says her eye was injured, but Officer Scott Crow indicated in his report Riddell appeared willing to fight. He also wrote Riddell had bitten his finger. I bit down because nothing else that I had tried had worked. Officer Crow received medical treatment for the bite, but Riddell filed an excessive force complaint against him, which was sustained, although Police Chief Frank Donchez declined to give specifics. In general terms, I would say that there were policies of the Davenport Police Department that were violated. He has some kind of a sanction, but he's still on the job, and I think it's really important to demand the same kind of accountability for him that she's facing for her shoplifting accusation. And in fact, Riddell did plead guilty to shoplifting, but she's now working with a Chicago area civil rights activist, along with the law firm of former Cook County Commissioner Tony Parika, and considering a civil suit. I just don't think that even though I did something wrong, that I deserve to be beat. And to see more of the video obtained by NBC5 and the Better Government Association, go to NBCChicago.com and click on the investigations page.